Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I thought I would come on for Saturday Morning Makes and show you a few of the things that I've been making recently. Um, Saturday Morning Makes is a hashtag that was started by Jill, who is Greenwood Girl Cards here on YouTube. Hi Jill, if you're watching. And anybody can join, just show us what you've been making, um, anything crafty related, and use the hashtag Set More and Makes. So I was working on this die set that I got from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this was part of a guest design, guest design um, package. And it's the shopping bag die. I will link it down below in case you are interested. And um, I have a coupon code too for ten or ten percent off your order of ten dollars or more. I'll link that or I'll put that down below. But um, anyway, I was making a couple of these shopping bags yesterday, and I did not see a tutorial, so I was just kind of winging it. And then this morning, I was watching. Um, Carol, who is Carol's Craft Cottage, she just put out a video today about how to put the bag together. <clears throat> and I realized I was doing it wrong. So thank you so much, Carol, for putting that video out. I will link her tutorial down below. Um, I'll show you the mistakes that I made and also a corrected one. So um, yeah, let's get started. I'll show you everything that I used. It's actually a very uh, easy die set. I just put two things upside down. So the die set comes with this piece, which is the, the front panel, and you cut out two of these. And then this is the side panel, which you cut out two of these. And this is what I put upside down on my uh, two first two examples. And then it comes with these labels too that you can use for your shopping bag and customize it in different ways. So it makes a great little gift bag that is a perfect size for gift cards. That's what I'm planning to use it for. So that's a die set. And let me just show you a few other things that I made or used. I used a little bit of this new stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. This is the Gingerbread Bakery um, stamp set. And all I did was I used a couple, oops, a couple of the uh, snowflakes from this one. So I'll be using more of this stamp set eventually, but I just got it this week. So um, I just wanted to test it out. And then um, I used this stamp set. This is a new one from Tim Holtz from Stampers Anonymous. It's called Holiday Sketchbook and it's red rubber cling stamps and they work really, really well. I got them from Frank Garcia Studio, but I'm sure you can find them at other online shops as well. So it comes with all these different like sketchbook images and then uh, sentiments as well. And these are separate uh, stamps. So you can either use them with the pictures, use them separately, mix and match and they stamp really well. So I was happy to um, get this and I use this in each one of my bags. I use this die set that I recently picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's a clearance die from Momenta and this one is called, um, well, I don't know, but that's the number. And it comes with two pieces. These are like, kind of like Nordic sweater looking, um, you know, strips. So I use this one and it cuts out really well. So use that. And then a couple paper pads I used are Frosted Peppermint. This is from DCWV from last year, I believe. And if you're looking for the new DCWV paper pads, I just saw today that scrapbook.com has the new ones out. So in case you're looking. And then I also used this one, Joyeux Noel. Um, you know, not pronouncing that quite right, but it's a uh, Merry Christmas in French. <laughs> so, uh, this is beautiful paper pad and I use this for my uh, corrected shopping bag. So let me go ahead and show you the ones that I made. Um, this is the first one and I made this just like a little bit rustic looking. The paper I use for this is from AC cardstock from a paper pad, um, like a neutral paper pad and it's textured which you could see there and I do like using these solid core papers for 3D projects because when you fold it you don't see any white core. Um, that's one of those Tim Holtz stamps that I stamped with Memento or Memento, yeah Memento right this is Memento and I use Memento um, tuxedo black ink to stamp this and then I used frosted lace stickles. I don't, do I have it over here? Yes, I use this to add uh, the glittery 
accents to that. And I cut it out with some deckled edge scissors and then I use some Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo to give it an aged look around it. These are little snowflakes from Scrap Diva Designs as well. I'll link that die down below. And here is that uh, Memento trim on the top. And I just used some plain red cardstock for that. And I think it's a really nice trim for this little bag. Um, I did punch holes and use a crop dial for this particular bag. The bag does come with holes pre-punched when you use the die, but they're a little too small for the crop dial or to set an eyelet. So I use my crop dial to further make the hole, you know, just a little bigger. And then I set eyelets there. So here's where I put the side part upside down. This like gusseted part is supposed to be on the bottom. It still works fine. So I'm, you know, I'm going to use it, but um, I'll show you the right way it's supposed to look. And then for the, for the handles, I use this trim that I just recently picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's Christmas party gift trim, and it is 60% off now at Hobby Lobby, and it's really pretty. It's got all these different kinds of twine and then little like uh, wood Christmas trees and wood beads on it too. So I thought that'd be fun for the handle. And then on the back side, I used one of the tags that comes with the shopping bag die set and just put it on the back. Um, those are those paper tray ink snowflake stamps, also in tuxedo black. And I put this here so it could add a to and a from on the tag itself. So, um, and then I stuffed it with a piece of just cream colored tissue paper, but I will put a gift tag in here or, you know, just a small gift. And these are just perfect for, I think they're perfect for gift cards because, did I say gift tag? I'll put a gift card in here. I think they're perfect for gift cards because, um, you know, sometimes you feel like you're not making any effort when you give someone a gift card, but this shows them that you were thinking of them and it's a thoughtful gift. So that's why I like to make a handmade bag with, um, with the gift card. So that's the first one. Let me measure it for you to show you how nice, uh, how nice of a size it is. So it comes out to be f about, well, um, almost five inches across and uh, three and a half inches top to bottom. And then the width is two and um, about three eighths. So a super cute bag. I love this look. Now the next one I made, I used that peppermint paper pad. And this is how this one came out. And I just love the, the pink and the red together. I think it looks really nice and, um, you know, like a candy cane. So again, I used one of those Tim Holtz stamps, but I did not use the sentiment on this one um, because I wanted it to fit in a circle on the gift bag and um, it just wouldn't have fit if I used a sentiment. So I think it looks cute with that one. For the ink for this one, I used the new one from Tim Holtz. This is Lumberjack Plaid. It's a really pretty red um, and it worked perfectly to stamp that out. I used some spun sugar distress oxide on the edge of the circle to, um, to highlight it. This is an old Sizzix die set that it, it's like a nested circle die set. If I can find it, I'll link it down below, but I do like the different um, embossed, or um, not embossed, but kind of like stitched. Yeah, there's a stitch layer and then just kind of like a zigzag stitch too, so. Um, I'll try and find it, but it is an older one. So here's that that peppermint, frosted peppermint paper, and I used some um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby for the handles. Again, this one I put the sides on upside down, so it still works, so I will still use it. And then I added some um, tissue paper that's white with red snowflakes that I recently picked up at, I believe it was Home Goods. So I love this one too, love the color combination. This new uh, sketchbook, what's it called again? Holiday sketchbook stamp set is just adorable. I love it. And the red rubber stamps stamps so well. So that's my second one. And let me show you the third one. And this is the one that I made after I saw Carol's video. So I love how this one came out. I love the colors. This is the uh, Joyeux Noel um, paper. The, um, it's like a gray and it has aqua and white snowflakes on it. So I used that paper to inspire the color choices for the rest of the accessories. Um, I did use that holiday sketchbook stamp again. This one I embossed and I used 
this Distress Embossing Glaze in Speckled Egg for the, uh, for the color. And I do like this embossing glaze. It works just like embossing powder, but it leaves it like a very shiny, kind of like translucent finish. It's really, really pretty. And then for the edges, I used Distress Ink in um, Speckled Egg just to coordinate and, you know, to add some more color. I had stamped this on just plain white paper. And this die is an older set from AliExpress. I used some ribbon from Joann's for the, uh, for the handle that I thought went really, really well. And then I used a little tag from the LOTV Digi Shop on Etsy. I'll link this set down below in case you're interested. And then I had this like a silvery jingle bell that I thought went nicely too. And these are garment pins that I got from I think In Love Art Shop, but you can find them anywhere. And I just used a white one to coordinate with the with the bag. So this paper is really nice because the other side of it is this red pattern. So I just like that pop of red on the inside. It looks like a really nice purse. So super cute. And like I said, this is done the correct way. So the gusset is down at the bottom and it does look much better than this one. It just makes more sense the way it folds. So um, if you want to know how to put it together, follow Carol's video if you you know can't figure it out yourself like me. But I'll, like I said, I'll link hers down below. But um, such a cute little gift gift bag. And um, I have some aqua tissue that I thought I would stuff inside. And you know, once I put a gift in here, something small or a gift card, it'll look really, really cute and just a nice handmade bag for, um, you know, any kind of present, even a few cookies or candies would be really sweet. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks to Carol for um, showing the tutorial of how to put this together because sometimes it's not always obvious, <laughs> even for those of us who've been crafting for a while. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Happy weekend, everybody. Bye.